Okay, we're up and running. You can all see we fixed that mistake now. I'm awful glad I caught that. It would have been in two inches, which wasn't the end of the world, but um, wouldn't have looked real good. There. There. Makes you a nice place to park your broom, eh? Yeah, my dog won't have muddy feet. Thank you. Yeah. Your dog won't have muddy feet. You got a nice launch pad for your broom. <laughs> I'll get on, fill that one with cement, let that dry overnight, do the next one. And the last one, and then we're done. I'm not going beyond here because I would nail it with the snow plow and take my teeth out and break the cement. And there is the second little block poured. I'm going to let her set. I've screeded it. And I just took that trowel, which I know nothing about, don't pretend to, just kind of smoothed the top. You know, if you look at this one, it's first time you say, well, I did this wrong, did that wrong, did this wrong. Ten years from now, when it's all frosty, cracked up, broke up, nobody's going to say a word. Um, you know, just a life lesson. But it's coming. There's mistakes. And, oh well, you'll have that, right? I, I, I worked town highway, and we were a bedroom town. So, being a bedroom town... It's 90% of the population is, is younger people working factory jobs and IBM. Good jobs, not bad jobs, I'm not saying that. But their IQ, their interest was education, not providing money for highways. So we always had to get by with nothing. And I had a wonderful, I, I kind of feel bad about it today because the things didn't end real good between him and I. But I had a wonderful select person road commissioner I worked for. And he had this attitude that used to drive me crazy. But thinking back on it, he taught me so much. Remember the first time he wanted me to rebuild a truck motor? I'd never rebuild a truck motor before. I didn't know what I was doing. He said, well, you will when you're done. Well, I looked at him and I said, I, you've never rebuilt a truck motor. Because I wanted to send it out, get it done. You know, at that time, labor was 30 bucks in the garage, 25, 30 bucks, which was a lot of money, considering they were paying me about seven or eight. And uh, he, he said, I'm not you. Rebuild the motor. And he walked out of the shop. Well, I did it. And it was reasonably successful, I guess. It ran till it junked. The rest of it rotted out. So, yeah, it was successful. Um... And one thing he said after I got done, he says, you know, we can buy that rebuild kit five times and pay you to put it in. He said, we still saved money. And that always stuck with me. I've never had a lot of money. I didn't go to college. My jobs didn't pay me fortunes. So I didn't have extra money to mess around with a lot of my life. And fortunate in the end, things worked out with my pension plan and working later years in life and stuff now i got a little bit to play with that and i got a good wife even though she rides a broom she's pretty conservative pretty good with money we 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 did all right we have our fights she tells me i don't need two tractors i don't need two pickup trucks ah <sighs> what else has she gone on about two atvs four wheeling side by side i don't need that she tells me all the time I'm, she doesn't know it right now, but we are going to have two sawmills here pretty quick, just in case one breaks. Y'all have a good day.